Hi, this is Blake Angelos from Yamaha Synthesizers here at Sam Ash with the Modi X Music Synthesizer. The Modi X is our mid-range music synthesizer that is based on the same fundamental technology as our flagship Montage, but it comes in at a lower price and it's lighter weight. Let's take a look at the things that make the Modi X so cool. Well, check out these three points. Great sound, sophisticated dynamic control, and mobility. The first two points it shares in common with Montage. As far as great sound goes, it has the same AWM2 sample-based synthesis engine as Montage. It has the 8-operator Pure Synthesis FMX engine. It has lots of cool DSP, everything from choruses, reverbs, delays, phasers, flangers, but it has some cool esoteric effects like wave folder, spiralizer, beat repeat, lots of powerful sound-shaping technology right there. Now. Control, well, you have the touch screen right here. Same touch screen as Montage. You have the Super Knob, the macro controller that controls multiple parameters simultaneously to give you lots of cool dynamic changes. You have faders, you have knobs, you have lots of control in front of you. Now, where it differs from the Montage is in two ways. First of all, mobility. Look at this. Mode DX8 is 88 notes, balanced hammer action, and it weighs in at 30.4 pounds. How do we do it? I don't know. That's amazing. Super lightweight for a weighted action synthesizer. The Modi X7 is what I have in front of me here. It weighs in at 16.3 pounds. Now, I played gigs with this, and there's nothing like going up eight flights of stairs walking up eight flights of stairs with something like this. It's no problem. It's 16.3 pounds. So easy to move to the gig. And the Modi X6 comes in at 14.6 pounds. Now this is a great instrument not only for everyone, but it's really great for montage owners. Imagine this, you have a montage that you keep at home. That's your studio instrument, but you take the Modi X to the gig. Why is this cool? Because montage and Modi X share very important file types, the user file and the library file. So you can transfer your sounds from your montage over to your Modi X and take that to the gig at the lighter weight. That's pretty cool. Now, let's take a listen to this amazing instrument, the Modi X. Modi X has lots of great sounds on board. It has expressive, realistic instrument sounds, cool synth sounds, engaging effects, and lots of cool real-time control. In fact, one of the coolest real-time controllers is that Super Knob. What the Super Knob does, it's a macro controller that controls multiple parameters simultaneously. So as I move the Super Knob, many things can change at the same time, often with really dramatic effect. And what that Super Knob does changes with respect to the performance I've selected. So what's a performance? A performance is the only mode where you play in the instrument, and everything you're about to hear going forward is what's called a performance. And the first performance I'm gonna play is called CFX Concert. This is our nine foot concert grand that Yamaha makes, our top of the line CFX, check it out. Check out the key off here <laughs> when the dampers lift off. There's little things like that in this instrument that make it so expressive. So now I just selected the live set right here. A live set is a collection of performances, so I can select them right here and go back to my main performance screen to see it. The next sound I want to play for you is called Imperial Concert Grand. And I'm playing this because this is our Bosendorfer Imperial 290. Check it out. off. <laughs> so I'm playing this because this just highlights that I've loaded this into the flash memory. There's a gigabyte of flash memory in this instrument for you to load your own samples or to download our free Bosendorfer um, promotional Imperial Grand Piano that you can add to your instrument. So 
Uh, that's why. So you have one gigabyte of flash memory that you can load your own samples into. All right. Now I'm going to go back to the live set, and I'm going to select what's called a gallery performance. This is called WR Gallery. This is a cool um, read piano, and I can use these scenes to select one of the three different versions of it. So I have some options here. The fourth one is just really a cool key off and mechanical noise that I can add, and I'll show you that in a second. But here's the first scene here. We're WR Gallery 2. Here's the second scene, different sound. And then three is FM, an FM version of a reed piano. And then four, again, is this really cool, just mechanical noise. So if I select one here, and I want to add some more mechanical noise, check it out. Lots of mechanical noise. If I like that, I can save that to a scene and recall that instantly and save the performance. That's one of the gallery performances. Now I want to play just this cool trombone. This is a single part, right? And it's this great trombone swell that not only increases when I move the super knob. Now I can control the super knob with this FC7 I have down here. FC7 is our expression pedal. So I can control the super knob without pulling my hand up to move it. So it's kind of cool to do that. But this is just a single part of a great trombone section. This is just... So there's lots of things happening there to get that sound. Now, what I want to do is show you how, how easy it is to add parts to this. So I'm going to add a string part and a woodwind part by touching on an open part. It drops me into my category search mode here. Touch on strings. I'll select this string section right here. So now I have strings with my swelled brass. Now, if I want to add woodwinds, touch part three, go to woodwind, select maybe a woodwind ensemble. So there's woodwind here. There it is. Check this out. Now I have a woodwinds. I'll swell the brass with it. cool. I love that about this instrument is just how expressive everything is and realistic. This pop horns. Get the when you hit it hard, you have some assignable switches that do some. And then in this case, what the super knob does is it adds another octave with woodwinds in there. Really cool. Great horn section. Last realistic sound I want to play is film choir. This is uh, my friend Dom Segalis made this sound. And with the super knob in this one, it adds strings and some low brass to the equation. So those are some realistic sounds. Now let's just check out some more uh, synth sounds. This one I just love, it's called Motion Pad. It has some ARP stuff. And I love this one because... If I'm inspired to add a groove to this, I have a thing right here that's called a Rhythm Pattern button. So I can touch on Rhythm Pattern and find some sort of a groove, let's say Electro Kit, and I want to add that. I can instantly add groove to anything with that Rhythm Pattern so I can either practice with it, so a hip metronome, or in a music production thing where I'm thinking I like these two chords, I want to hear what it sounds like with a cool Electro Kit beat. Control right here. So really fast to add a groove if I want it. 
Now I'm just going to play just some cool synth sounds. This one I just love because it's it's just really cool. Another one in here I like is called Spiral Feedbacker. This uses an effect that's called Spiralizer. Check this out. You know why there's a feedbacker in the movie. That's such a cool sound. Now the next sound I want to play is called is called it's piercing light. Now this uses what's uses what's called an extended LFO. This is something that we added in a OS update. We have OS updates that add new things, and the last thing I'm going to show you is one of the coolest OS updates we've ever had. But first off, I want to show you this cool one that's called extended LFO. It's a high-speed LFO, and this sound is just really interesting because of it. Well, check it out. over here. That's all FM, by the way, so lots of just interesting, really unique sounds in here. Last thing I want to show you is called Drone Generator, and this uses a thing called Smart Morph. This is a specific technology that we added to the FM synthesis engine that uses machine learning to take different FM sounds and take a look at them using this really cool basically advanced intelligence in this instrument and create new sounds, and it does some really interesting things, very easy to create new FM sounds with this. Right now I have it here with a motion sequence that's automated. So motion sequence is a parameter sequence. I'm going to go ahead and hold that for a second and just show you what I can do. Let's get a big version of this screen here. So it's morphing between different sounds in here and then I can move the super knob and set it to move between any two points. Smart Morph is really, really a very unique, powerful um, way to just create new FM sounds without really having to know a whole lot about FM synthesis. Again, this was added in our last OS update, um, and it's just it's amazing. So that is a brief tour of the sounds that you can get out of a Modi X. This is a great value instrument because of it. Some other things about this instrument, well, the super knob we've talked about, the motion sequence, you saw that with that last sound using the automated motion sequence, which is just basically a parameter sequence. There's a built-in vocoder in this instrument. I can plug into the A to D input and do cool vocoding effects, or I can use a part to do vocoding as well. Other things in this instrument, of course, we talked about the mobility aspect. Boy, it is so lightweight. It has different ways to create music on board. A pattern um, sequencer on board, that's awesome. A song sequencer. It does audio recording um, to, um, to a, uh, a flash drive that you've put in to the uh, flash drive port in the back, whatever I'm trying to say here. And you can connect it to a computer and send up to 10 audio channels out and return two back to the computer. So it's an audio interface to the computer and it's also a MIDI interface as well. So you can take this instrument to the gig and if you wanna play virtual instruments and things like that, you can do that with the Modi X. It is super powerful in that regard. Other things, I just wanna point out, it is very similar to the montage. It uses the same technology as a montage. But what do you get when you move up to a montage? Well, you get more sound, you get 
more simultaneous effects. You get more polyphony in the FMX engine. You have a different action. You have our higher quality action with the Modi X. Um, it has FSX action and then our balanced hammer action and those both send aftertouch. So you get aftertouch, you get a metal chassis. You have more control, more faders, more knobs, more buttons over here to control things. So you get more things when you get a montage, no question about it, but for the price, the Modi X is really hard to beat. It is a great instrument, and I highly recommend you checking it out. If you have any further questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to contact your Sam Ash sales associate on the phone, on the internet, or in a store. Once again, this is Blake Angelos from Yamaha Synthesizers. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good one. See ya.